Hello everyone, welcome to the video tutorial on tetra meshing inside an electronic cabinet. This is part 1 of the video tutorial. So let us begin our video tutorial on tetra meshing using ICMCF. First we will import the geometry file which is already cleaned up. We do this by file import geometry. We select the geometry file which is tin file. Then we create a new project to save all our work into this new project by saying file save project as. Dot project file will be saved. The model that we are going to try do meshing is of a electronic components and cabinet consisting of electronic components. It is an assembly level model that contains various electronic components within a cabinet box and if we further go and model CFD it will be a electronic cooling type of problem electronic cabinet cooling. So this is how our model looks like there are various parts and surfaces present within our CAD model as you can see one by one if we turn off. So there are partitions part 1, part 2. There is a capacitor part. Right now different parts are named randomly and they are also created randomly. We need to say create and create our own customized parts. As you can see the solid shading of this CAD model. This is how it is. We will have various integrated chips, capacitors, transformer. There is a partition as well as a motherboard. So this is how the shaded model looks like. Shaded CAD model. We have an inlet fan and an outlet grill. So these are various components like integrated chip, there are capacitors, there is transformer, a motherboard or a PCB, a partition, there are outlet grills and inlet fans. So this is the cabinet level model which we are going to mesh right now. As you can see the parts currently are randomly created. So we create new parts according to our name and according to our modeling nomenclature. We will create first a capacitor part. Then by screen select we will select the entities of the CAD model that will be under the capacitor part. We switch to wireframe again in order to make our selection easier. So we select all the surfaces which will be included within the part capacitor 1. This is our capacitor 1. After selecting screen by left mouse button, we click middle button to say that our selection has been completed. So a capacitor 1 part has been created. Now we will create capacitor 2 part by using create part operation. Again we will screen select the surfaces that we want to be included within the capacitor 2 part. Select by left mouse click and by middle mouse click we say that the operation is done or completed. So capacitor 2 is also created now. We will also create capacitor 3 part and one by one we will create all the parts that we need. We select surfaces which will form part of the capacitor 3. So now once we have created different parts that is we have selected surfaces to be grouped within different parts we also have to create bodies or sort of a volumes within which mesh can be created. So these surfaces or parts will consist of volume inside which we want mesh. In order to define those volumes or mesh volumes we have to create bodies. These bodies will define volumes in which mesh will be created. 
For that we have to select closed or bounding surfaces and inside those surfaces bodies will be created which will be meshed. So we select from screen two points and the center of those two points will define a body. Whatever surfaces enclosing that point will form a body which will be used for meshing. So we form a body for capacitor 1 which we name as V underscore capacitor 1. Similarly we will do for capacitor 2 and capacitor 3. We will use the operation called create body. We will select the part name that we want to assign for that body. Then we will select material point which is the point around which that body will be created. We will use centroid of two points method by which we select on the screen two points and the centroid of that point will be used as material point and the surfaces enclosing that point will form a body. So you have created body for capacitor 2 also now. And now we are also creating material point or body for capacitor 3. We will repeat this procedure that is create parts and then create material points or body for that part for all the parts that are present in our CAD model. Thank you for viewing this particular lecture. See you in the next lecture.